Today guys, it's Peter and only behind the camera together we are two hungry diners Well guys, welcome to 2022 and welcome to our very first video in 2022 Right before the end of the year of 2021, we visited a beautiful little town called Warburton located in Yarra Valley Yes, we absolutely love this town guys and we are going to show you guys around all the attractions here in this beautiful town all the things that you can do and of course the food you need to have if you are visiting this town let's go let's check it out Warburton is a charming town on the Yarra River nestled in a valley between heavily forested mountains east of Lilydale and on the road to Mount Donabueng just under two hours drive from Melbourne, the Warburton Valley is live at nature's pace. There is plenty to see and do here in Warburton that caters to all visitors of different age groups. From biking to hiking to river tubing to scenic walks and to several other activities such as picnicking, sightseeing tours and bushwalking, Warby is the perfect place to immerse yourself in nature and escape the 9 to 5 hustle and bustle. We have stacks of recommendations of things to see and do as well as places to eat here in Warburton. So stay tuned and subscribe to our video. Let's begin our journey by visiting the Warburton Waterwheel Visitor Center. Located in the township of Warburton, these visitor centers provide tourist information, host an art gallery and indoor forest at the Environment Discovery Center. There is also a must-see retail outlet called Warburton Valley Handmade that showcases locally handmade goods from artists and craft workers in the region. Open seven days, visitors can drop in and speak to a volunteers about where to stay and what to do in the Warburton Valley. There are plenty of brochures and maps for the region's stunning arrays of forest walks and attractions. A must visit if you are looking for in-depth and up-to-date information about local events and anything else happening in this town. Number 2. Tommy Finn's Trout Farm Come and enjoy a relaxing family day out at Tommy Finn's Trout Farm. This is a recreational trout fishing farm that provides safe fishing ponds for all ages. You don't need to bring a thing, visitors are provided with facility information along with the fishing rods and bait to get started. There are plenty of picnic tables available and some barbecue facilities to enjoy your catch of the day. Tommy Finn's Trout Farm is open on the weekend and public holidays only from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. No bookings are required. Unfortunately, guys, we're not going to do the fishing today. We arrived quite late and it's almost like closing time. Today is the 27th of December and sadly, they also mentioned it's probably going to be the last day of 2021. Uh, they opened um, this year uh, because the next couple of days it's going to be like super hot. So the trout is not going to eat the bait. They just like sitting in the pond doing nothing. Um, yeah, we've been speaking to other visitors as well. And yeah, they've been waiting for an hour to catch a trout, but they didn't catch any sadly. Uh, yeah, um, I think we have to come back next year if we're going to do the trout fishing, but it looks really, really fun. They also sell the smoked trout, but sadly, they also run out for the year. Um, yeah, if you guys want to visit this um, Tommy Finn's uh, trout farm, make sure to check out the Facebook page because all the info is there. Number three, Mount Donabueng Rainforest Gallery. Mount Donabueng Rainforest Gallery is a beautiful site that features a 40 meter long observation platform that takes you into the rainforest canopy 15 meters above the ground. This is one of only three of its type in Australia. Here you'll see a magnificent 65 meter tall old growth mountain ash tree, ancient myrtle beech tree, ferns, mosses, and other plants that make up this damp and diverse rainforest environment. 
The rainforest gallery walk is not very long, so take your time to enjoy the nature and breathe in the fresh crisp air of this Yura Valley rainforest. Number 4, Mount Donabueng Observation Tower. Located at Mount Donabueng Summit, Mount Donabueng Observation Tower offers stunning Yara Valley's panoramic view. From this viewpoint, you will get a broad view of Melbourne, the Yara Valley, Dandenong and Cathedral Ranges, Mount Baobao, and the Alps. It is also a popular picnic area and starting point for walks on the mountain. And during the winter month, the Mount Donabueng Summit becomes a fun area for snow play. Tobogganing is the main activity enjoyed up here as there are three toboggan runs that open up when there is snow. Number 5. Mount Donabueng Natural Spring Water Mount Donabueng Natural Spring Water is a popular attraction on the way up to the summit. Here you can taste and collect one of the freshest naturally running spring water in Victoria. This is like the recommended <laughs> attractions here, the natural spring water. Have to try. Ooh, ooh, okay. Wow, it's super cold, it's refreshing, and I reckon it's, it tastes almost like better, if not the same, like the supermarket spring water one. Wow. While you might wonder how safe is the water, rest assured the water here is regularly tested by Pax Victoria and is turned off if the reports indicate the water is not safe for drinking. Number 6. Redwood Forest Home to over 1,000 towering Californian redwoods planted in ordinary rows, the Warburton Redwood Forest is a must-visit attraction here in Warburton. Just 15 minutes from Warburton city centre, this cool and mysterious forest is one of Victoria's hidden gems and a major growing tourist attraction. It offers a spectacular scenic view for nature lovers and a recommended place for a day trip for Melbourne. Warburton Motel If you are looking for a decent and affordable accommodation in Warburton, we can highly recommend Warburton Motel. This family-owned and operated motel is nestled in the scenic Yara Valley and is just 2 minute walks from the Yara River. Warburton Motel offers rooms with a shared balcony and a lovely mountain foresty view. We stay at the newly refurbished upper room which was very neat and clean. It has a flat screen TV, refrigerator, complimentary tea and coffee facilities, complimentary toiletries, and a mini bar which is standard in all room. It is certainly a great choice to stay here in Warburton without breaking the bank. Number 8. River Tubing there are plenty of adventurous things to do here in Warburton and one of them is nature-based activity in the beautiful wild Yara River called the River Tubing. That is rolling down the river on a tire tube. You can bring your own tire tube, but if you want a hassle-free experience, then we recommend booking a self-guided river tubing adventure from bike and hike. They also own and operate the highly rated Warburton Motel. This is a perfect mix of adventures and nature immersions as you'll be surrounded by nothing but nature and a beautiful bird life with section of sunlight, shades and dapple combinations of both. There are plenty of opportunity to stop along the way and swim if you choose. 
We had so much fun rolling down the Yara River and we think this is a must do in Wobbeton. Definitely. Silva Coffee. Located in the beautiful Yarra Valley, Silva Coffee Roaster is nestled in the heart of Warburton. Silva Coffee Roaster is the spot in Warburton to discover all things coffee and deliver your morning caffeine heat in a new and exciting way. We try their popular coffee tasting flights and there are three options available. And we choose the piccolo flights, which includes three piccolo lattes and cascar tisane. You'll discover the people and stories behind the coffee in your cup. Taste and compare the unique flavors of specialty coffee sourced from different origins. Highly recommended guys before starting your exciting day in Warburton. Little Joe. Looking for a quick bite in Warburton? Little Joe is the place to go. This place boasts tasty and amazing wood fire pizzas. But if pizzas are not right up to your alley, they have also other dishes on the menu that will surely satisfy your hunger. Great food and super friendly service, highly recommended. This is the Pusta Nesca, which is the tomato based pizza with some capers, white anchovies, uh, olives, and the Bavaro mozzarella. Looks super nice. Let's grab a slice. Mm, perfect wood fire pizza hits the spot. Perfect for lunch, guys. Must try. One of our subscribers uh, just approached us uh, while we are eating at Little Joe's here, and she's also here and she gave us this little surprise note. Oh, that's so so kind of you. Uh, it says, Hi, Oni and Peter, I love your videos and watch every single one of them. Oh, thank you. I hope you two have a great time in Warburton. Happy holidays and have a happy new year from Suyi. Thanks, Suyi. So kind of you, love your nose, and I hope you also had a good time in Wolverton. If you are looking for a classic pub style dine in with a great atmosphere and a fantastic staff that serve delicious food for lunch and dinner, then we recommend the Alpine Hotel. Located in the heart of Wolverton Township, they offer a selection of modern Australian dishes, succulent steak, and pub classics from their bistro or their licensed a la carte restaurant. They also offer vegan and vegetarian options as well as weekly specials that showcase seasonal produce and flavors from around the world. You can enjoy a delicious meal in the bistro overlooking the gorgeous beer garden. Be mindful though, the food can take a little bit of time to arrive at your table. Located right on the Warby Trail in Warburton, Cock Bike Cafe is the perfect location to sit and have a bite and enjoy the surrounding. Or if you are riding a bike, take a pit stop before you continue to explore the Warby Trail. They serve delicious cafe-style food with hot and cold drink selections available. Lunch time guys, this is Egg Florentine. This is actually the breakfast menu, but they still serve it until uh, 2 p.m. I think. Let's have a try. Mmm, love the smoked salmon. It's, it's tasty. I think the combo is, is quite tasty. Can't complain much. Mm. Next to the cafe is a bike shop called Cock Bike Australia. Here you can hire a bike from the range available, including e bike assisted bikes. 
located in the beautiful Warburton near the banks of the Yara River, Rainbow Ice Cream Shop serves quality ice cream and gelati all year round as well as hot jam donuts during the colder months. There are 24 flavors to choose from and they are all packed full of wholesome goodness. We got two scoops of ice cream, so we chose the mango sorbet and the rainbow ice cream. Let's taste the rainbow. Mm. The rainbow one is the bubblegum flavor. Let me try the mango sorbet. Not sure if it's using real mango, but I think I like the rainbow more than the mango sorbet. Symphony 36 is a family-owned and operated bar, restaurant, and live music venue. They serve all-day dining in their restaurant and beer garden with a selection of local beer, wine, and spirits, also cocktail. We had a dinner here and the food was the least and the serving was decent too. We ordered Tommy Finn's smoked trout croquet and beef tacos for our entree and calamari laksa for our main. The smoked trout was awesome, especially if you miss out on buying Tommy Finn's smoked trout. Mm. The beef taco was surprisingly very good too. The meat was extremely tender and juicy. Very nice beef, super tender, wow! The kalame laksa was highly recommended too if you are looking for something different with an Asian twist. This is our last stop here at Warburton Bakery. This is a must visit bakery, especially if you are looking for meat pies, savory pies, and some sweet items like croissants, pan or chocolate, and other pastry items. You can eat there at the outdoor area of the bakery, but we choose to walk just behind the bakery. You can see like a beautiful Yara River. Yeah, people do some picnic, some Kids also do some swimming. I mean, it's such a good weather today. So of course, we want to take advantage of the view behind the bakery. So today we order two savory pies. One is the curry and steak pie, and the other one is chicken and portobello mushroom pie. We also order two sweet pastry items. One is the uh, apple scroll, and the other one is the pan or chocolate. Let's try the curry and steak pie first. Oh, this is so delicious guys, can definitely taste the curry flavoring and it's using the minced beef um, It's really, you know, super tender, it's very satisfying, I mean, I mean, we are in the countryside of, of Victoria eating pies, it's just perfect uh, by the river mm, Don't forget to use tomato squeeze as well <laughs> Okay, let's try the chicken and portobello mushroom pie I can't really choose between the beef and the chicken, both are really excellent pies. There's a really nice apple scroll from Warburton Bakery. Mmm, good choice. Anyway guys, uh, that concludes our video of things to see and do in Warburton. And I hope you guys find this video useful for your next visit to Warburton in Victoria. And see you guys in the next video. Stay foolish, stay hungry. Bye!